When you hear the word germs, chances are you don't have very great thoughts about them. Most of us associate germs with sickness, but that shouldn't always be the case, according to our next guest. In the Germ Files, author and microbiologist Jason Tetro makes a case for how germs can actually improve our health, and he joins us in studio with more. And you shook my hand when you sat down. Of course. Didn't do one of those fist pump things. I do that in hospitals where it's really a, a problem where, you know, you could actually be spreading germs. Absolutely. But out here where most people are healthy, I think a good firm handshake is a really nice thing to do. So and if, you, if, if you're worried, I got the hand sanitizer right here. You'd be right in here. your pocket, right? Yeah. <laughs> so tell me about, you know, just the, the sheer number of germs that we're dealing with. It is yeah. in the human body at every, any given time. Yeah, I mean, the, the the actual number is in some dispute, but it's usually somewhere between two to three times as many as us. And so you and I have about 37 trillion. Oh my gosh. And it can be anywhere from about 60 to 100 trillion microbes. So when you hear all of this, um, you know, the, these people telling you how to take care of yourself and how to take care of uh, your body and your loved ones, they're really only telling you to take care of about a third of who you really are. Wow. Because you're not taking the other two thirds into consideration. And that's really what this book is about, is how to take care of your 100%. So when you take care of your 100%, some of the germs that we're talking about are actually good. Oh, most are. Most of the time you've got germs that are either, you know, they're hanging around, they're, they're just bystanders. Okay. Uh, you're going to have friends, which we've evolved with over, you know, thousands of years, which actually work with us and they provide chemicals to make us feel better. And then you have, you know, what we call pathobionts. The name sounds kind of bad. They antagonize us. They irritate us. We want to make sure that they stay down or else we end up getting inflammation. And I'm sure you've heard about inflammation. Sure, of course. And that can lead to obesity, diabetes. Well, these microbes, that these pathobionts, are the ones that are actually helping to cause inflammation, leading to these troubles. So you want to get those down. You want to have the bystanders and the friends. Or, as I like to say, um, listen to Justin Trudeau at Davos. Remember what is his key to economic success? Diversity. And so <laughs> diversity, diversity in germs. Diversity in germs is the key to your health success. It's as simple as that. And if that's the case, and we've got these, these good germs, and then we run around, um, and a lot of people do use hand sanitizer, and a lot of people are obsessed with it right. because we don't want any germs anywhere. We want everything spotless and sanitized. That, is that doing us any favors? Well, I mean, I like to call it tough love because when you've got... Um, a germ that's oh. acting up or is a pathogen and there's only 0.1% of all the microbes out there that are pathogenic you don't want it to get inside of you so you're gonna have to either avoid it banish it or as we like to do in the lab kill it yeah so alcohol hand sanitizer is fantastic washing your hands fantastic and if you happen to be in um, a location like a subway here in Toronto or an airplane uh, the best thing to do is wear a mask now those blue masks it probably yeah. not so great, but scarves will do the exact same thing as a mask. It'll protect you from those droplets. You've got a lot of kind of tips and interesting kind of nuggets in the book, and one of them mm -hmm. I, I thought was really interesting is how to chew gum. Oh, yeah. Because you've got a lot of germs in your mouth, and oh, so, so it's okay, but? Well, you want to first off make sure it's sugarless, otherwise, you know, you're going to tick off your dentist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but the other thing is you only do it for two minutes, because what you're trying to do is remove stinky bacteria from your mouth, and after two minutes, you're actually spreading it. Oh, great. So you, you take your sugarless gum, hopefully with some xylitol in it, because that's also going to help. You chew on that for about two minutes, then you spit it out, and you're going to have a much cleaner breath, and you're also going to have a cleaner mouth for whomever you might want to, you know, share fluids with. Right, right. And with Valentine's Day around the corner, there you go. Well, that's my birthday, so I'll be getting lots of kisses. <laughs> there you go. Happy birthday on Valentine's. Thanks for coming in to share your book with us. Oh, it was such a pleasure. You'll find the germ files on our iBooks page. Head to iBooks.com slash Canada AM.